Before we plunge into the declaration, it is enticing to figure out what atom gas pedals are. The Enormous Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17 kilometers ring of superconducting magnets. Comparatively, it is the world's most conspicuous and vital molecule smasher. It represents the zenith of human accomplishment. As a matter of fact, it's so strong that it could duplicate the specific conditions of the first second in the universe. However, could this machine, expected to open the secret of the universe, hold the key to something else for humanity? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most well-known research organizations, with 23 member states and vast numbers of scientists. It's a place for cooperation and advancement. The LHC is CERN's central project, but it's only one part of a giant network of gas pedals and experiments. Envision a course not for vehicles or planes, but for subatomic particles in a trial of fitness, diligence, and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mirrors the energy of the universe just after the Big Bang. The effects generate temperatures much hotter than the center of the sun. A vast number of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while complex cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The beams inside the LHC are made to crash at four locations around the accelerator ring, connecting to the spots of four particle detectors, MAP, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each fills a particular role, researching various aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as enormous cameras, capturing pictures of these impacts. Researchers then sift through the debris, searching for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also called the God particle, and other anomalies that could reveal clues about the universe's fundamental building blocks. By focusing on the microcosm, we gain insights into the universe. However, with each answer comes another question, and with every revelation, another test arises. The LHC isn't simply a scientific instrument. It's a demonstration of human curiosity and progress. It represents our innovative pursuit of knowledge and our longing to understand the key forces that shape our universe. However, as we push the limits of what we know, we must also consider the more significant and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of exploring the unknown? Could our quest for knowledge accidentally release powers we have no control over? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the limits of human understanding are constantly pushed, a discovery has emerged that sends a shudder down the spine of even the most prepared scientists. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a voice of expertise in the field of particle physics, has recently said something that has left the world both fascinated and uneasy. Cox's words resonate with chilling clarity. The objective of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to reproduce a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist also went on to explain the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to uncover the mysteries of the Higgs boson and investigate dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a large part of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to capture the very essence of the universe. It's a captivating possibility, but one fraught with risk. The miniature Big Bang isn't just a theoretical concept. It's a very real phenomenon inside the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, all replicate the conditions of the universe's birth. It's like standing at the beginning of written history, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms. What if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anat Borsky experienced an accident that would forever change his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, a malfunction caused a proton beam to accidentally pass through his skull. The beam, with a force beyond belief, entered the back of his head and exited through his nose. Borsky's experience was unprecedented. He saw a flash brighter than 1,000 suns but had no immediate concerns. The beam's path resulted in a trail of destruction, burning tissue and bone. Yet he remained conscious and even walked to the medical center for treatment. The outcome was both shocking and surprising. The beam caused limited tissue damage, 
leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Amazingly, Borsky's mental faculties remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident isn't just an individual misfortune. It serves as a reminder of the immense power and potential dangers of particle accelerators. The risks of a molecule smasher like the LHC are not to be underestimated. The potential for catastrophic reactions, the very fabric of existence being altered. These are not the stuff of science fiction but real concerns voiced by respected scientists. One of the most disturbing and fascinating concerns associated with the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are massive vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, mysterious objects lurking in the shadows of our universe. The fact that the LHC could potentially create such a phenomenon, even on a small scale, is staggering to both the public and scientists alike. Could this black hole eventually spiral out of control, swallowing the Earth from the inside? Scientists at CERN have assured the public that any black hole created would be unstable and vanish rapidly. However, the remote possibility has sparked discussions, fears, and awe at the power we wield. It's important to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It involves the basic mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy produced is so enormous that it bends the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a heavy object is dropped onto it. The fabric deforms, and if the object is heavy enough, it could create a well so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. This is an analogy for what might happen at the LHC in the realm of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are both strange and wondrous. There is a theory that extra dimensions might be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's experiments could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a tiny black hole. This bizarre dance of particles have even grabbed the eye of some exceptionally regarded researchers, especially the late Stephen Selling. In his book, he cautioned of a situation where the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy levels. This insecurity could prompt a disastrous event known as vacuum decay, an occurrence that wouldn't simply obliterate the Earth, but could potentially obliterate the whole universe. The regarded English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rhee also expressed concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN. In his book on the future possibilities for humankind, he explored the potential risks of particle smasher tests, including those at CERN. His words weren't just cautious. They were filled with a sense of existential fear. He examined a worst-case scenario where a failed test could trigger a phase transition that would reverberate through the fabric of space-time, resulting in a catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Rhee's concerns weren't limited to theoretical insights. He assigned a low probability to these disastrous outcomes. Still, he argued that even a small chance warrants serious consideration. The stakes are incredibly high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The scientists at CERN have run simulations, analyzed the theories, and taken precautions to ensure the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of these measures, recognizing the inevitable concerns and questions surrounding the LHC's activities. He emphasized that there are rigorous safety protocols in place, thorough reviews and procedures to ensure the LHC's operations are carried out with the utmost attention to detail. Cox reassured the public that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally experiences and that the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists say it would be so small and unstable that it would dissipate quickly in a burst of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking called Hawking radiation. It would be a transient moment of cosmic wonder, just a brief glimpse into the void, and then gone. Some have taken the idea much further, speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a door to another universe or dimension. While this notion is largely dismissed by mainstream scientists, it has captured the imagination of many and become a subject of fascination, fear, and even mythology. What lies beyond our universe? Could we accidentally release forces or entities that we don't understand? The idea of opening a doorway to hell has even been sensationalized in various media, fueling the flames of uncertainty. 
However, how did this idea emerge, and what does it mean in terms of scientific investigation? The concept of extra dimensions isn't new in physics. String theory, a leading contender for a unified theory of everything, proposes that there might be more than the standard three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, yet they could, in principle, be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Now, imagine the LHC as a giant key opening doors that have been locked since the dawn of recorded history. When protons crash at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in theory, create ripples or waves that probe these hidden dimensions. If these dimensions exist, the LHC may indeed reveal them. However, before we get carried away with wild speculation, it is important to understand that while the LHC is incredibly powerful, there is no definitive proof to suggest it will open a doorway to another universe, let alone to hell itself. Nonetheless, the allure of the unknown, combined with the strange nature of quantum physics, ensures that such ideas will continue to captivate the public imagination. So, should we be worried about the LHC and its potential risks? It's easy to be swept away by sensational headlines and fears of global catastrophe. However, the reality is that the scientists at CERN are very aware of the dangers involved. They have taken every precaution to ensure their experiments are safe, and they continue to monitor and assess their work with the highest level of diligence. The potential benefits of the research, the breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe, the discovery of new particles, the study of dark matter, are truly remarkable. It's not just a display of human ingenuity, but a window into the very heart of the universe. Nevertheless, like any great leap forward in science, it comes with its share of risks. We should approach it with a balance of wonder, respect, and awareness. The Large Hadron Collider represents the frontier of scientific inquiry, where theoretical physics meets experimental reality. Its true potential to answer fundamental questions about the universe, such as the origins of mass and the nature of dark matter, is unparalleled. However, despite rigorous safety measures and detailed simulations, the LHC still evokes a sense of mystery and fear in some. The sheer size of the machine and the energy it generates are awe-inspiring, and each new experiment opens the door to unknown scientific realms. While most scientists remain confident in the safety of LHC tests, there are clear uncertainties. What if new, unexpected phenomena emerge that challenge our understanding of physics and the laws of the universe? The LHC pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and tests the limits of our control over the natural world. As particle collisions recreate conditions from the moment of the Big Bang, the significance of these experiments raises existential questions about the potential consequences of altering the very fabric of the universe. Nevertheless, the LHC's achievements in particle physics have been groundbreaking. It has led to the discovery of the Higgs boson, advanced our understanding of the Standard Model, and opened pathways to potential breakthroughs that may one day shape our technological future. Regardless, the quest for knowledge remains one of humanity's most ambitious endeavors. The journey of scientific discovery is rarely without risk, and the LHC is no exception. Its investigations delve into areas of physics where intuition no longer applies. For years, physicists have sought to understand the fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force, each playing a vital role in the development of matter.